get scared. The best book ever when I'm not on camera. Ah, fuck! Ah. It's impossible to walk out of Ikea truly happy. Trick or treat! Tonight's a special night, isn't it, everybody? Did you stay up late? What, did you take a nap? Did you fall asleep? And all of a sudden, I appeared in your dreams. Because I'm here now, aren't I? Inside of you. Guess what? Today, we're going to be making Swedish meatballs. Trishy, my wife, my partner, my lover, my, the, the, the mother of my children, makes Swedish meatballs, and I love them. When I come home, and Trisha's like, I made Swedish meatballs, I'm like, holy fucking shit. Let's fucking skip the meatballs and go straight to falling asleep and not kissing. We make out still. We're like high school students, okay? She's not here to say that this is exactly how I make them, because also I don't really watch her cook or make the Swedish meatballs. So I'm just guessing. And cream corn. My cream corn is fucking fire. So settle down with all this bullshit. We're about to make some Swedish meatballs, okay? Fuck out of here. We got some day old shitty bread. We're just gonna take this and rip it up. A Little bit of milk. We just need a little bit of moisture. And now we have nice, bready, milky, Moisture, flavor, breadcrumbs, okay? Look at that, look how easy that was. One pound ground beef, one pound ground pork. We're gonna mix this and incorporate this first before I add anything. I'm going in, I'm squeezing, I'm turning, and then I flip and I move it around and I squeeze it and I, and I, and I, and I do this and I punch it. Here we go, we got two eggies. We're gonna add two whole eggs in the middle of a well. Make the well, pound it out. White powder, dried mustard, onion powder, garlic powder, no. We have white pepper, ginger, garlic powder, mace, nutmeg, allspice, salt. My hand's disgusting. A little Worcestershire, a little quick gluggy. Like a finger worth of mustard, Dijon. This is dry breadcrumbs. We're gonna mix this up. Get that kind of juice in. Then we're gonna add like a handful of the other wet, milky breadcrumbs. Punch it up, punch it down. Oh yeah. You want them to be a little bouncy. Yeah! And you want it to be a little gummy. That looks good to me. Doesn't that look good to you? Now, I'm just gonna wash my hands, do a little tidy up here. And we're gonna be back on cooking something. And I'm gonna be making the most delicious, velvety, oh. soft, bouncy oh. Swedish meatballs you've ever seen. Uh, what's spookier? I don't know if that one landed. What's spookier than a black kitty cat on Halloween and shaving your pumpkins without Manscaped? Manscaped is easily the greatest shaver of all time. I use it to shave my little baby pumpkins. You should too. Lucky for you, the Manscaped has made sure that they keep you groomed and they smelling great. You know, the Performance Package 4.0 is an incredible, it's the holy grail. Before, before Manscaped, what happened? You got a foot up on the thing, you got a mirror, you're trying to shave everything, you're trying to, we, I don't know how to do this. My dad didn't teach me that, I'll tell you that much. 20% off, plus free shipping, plus you get the free gifts, you get the underwear, you get the toenail clippers, everything right now. Maddie, 2022 is the code. Manscaped.com is the website. Have a great day. Shave your pumpkins. When I'm frying meatballs, I want to kind of shallow fry them. Oil and butter. Mom. I always do just a little oil on my hands. This is only two pound, one pound beef, one pound pork gets you a shit ton of fucking Swedish meatballs. As we're rolling, we're gonna start frying. I like to get cooking here. One time oh, I like to open oh, up oh. the right thing. So here we go, we got some butter in there. We can just start putting these in here. We're just gonna make them. Ah! I'm just cooking like I cook at home, okay everybody? Like you gotta cook them. But once they're cooked, they're cooked. It's not like you're making like some all day sugo. We'll fill up the tray, we'll brown these up, we'll get them out of there and we'll just keep going. We'll just take these out, nice and golden brown. Look at this little one, nice and juicy. Look, it's, there's a bounce, there's a bounce. That's good cooking right there. There's nothing on the bottom of that pan. That pan is clean. All right, let's get these out of here. Look at that, that is good cooking. So we're gonna put in some butter, chopped cremini mushrooms. We're gonna do salt and pepper. We're gonna saute this up. We're gonna dice up an onion real quick. Build out the roux with the onions and the mushrooms all in here. I don't really want hard sears 
mushrooms. I just want them to be soft and velvety and nice, okay? I'm gonna put in one, tape, one big tablespoon of flour and now we're just gonna cook this out. Most people at home probably don't have beef stock lying around. If you happen to have some beef stock lying around, use some beef stock. I'm just gonna gently just add just enough and kind of build out a little bit of a slurry, which instantly you're gonna see here. So this is gonna get real thick real quick. I'm just gonna stir it and it's gonna get thicker. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more and we just keep adding. We're just gonna take our time and bring it up to temperature. Just stir it around. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it down to medium heat. We're gonna flavor it. So we're gonna add a little glug of the Worcestershire and some soy sauce. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Yeah. Mmm. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna add, not, I don't even think all the balls, to be honest. <laughs> that is incredible. That's chocolate milk beef balls, baby. All the flavor from the meatballs now is gonna start soaking into the gravy. And now, I'm gonna show you how to make a really fantastic cream corn. <laughs> Isn't that exciting, everybody? Isn't that gonna, it's gonna warm you up, make you feel like a real, real, real superhero, make you feel warm like you're flying above the clouds? Let's make some cream corn, shall we? Cream corn is not that difficult to make, but it can be. Okay, first, take your butter and throw it next to your fucking pot. Jeepers, creepers. I'm trying, like, you know, I'd like to see people, like, who does this? You know? Okay, medium heat, melt some butter, then we're gonna cook some onion. We wanna just kinda melt this away with the butter. We got frozen fucking corn. It's ready in eight to 10 minutes, everybody. We're gonna add a bag of frozen corn. We're gonna mix that around. Dry white wine. And we're gonna just barely cover the corn. Turn the heat up, crank it. And now we're gonna reduce. Reduce, reduce, reduce. Reduce, 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 reduce. We're gonna add this much maple syrup. So we're gonna reduce this white wine. Like, look, see what's happening? And then we're gonna blend it just to like blah, blah, blah. Max it like blah. Just kind of like make it look like vomit. And then we're good to go. Should not be soupy. Don't fuck around with me. Don't fucking, don't fuck around. Don't fuck around with me and cream corn. Now, heavy cream. This is gonna warm this through. And this is what it should look like. It shouldn't be like floating. We're gonna add a pinch of salt, maybe two pinches. Bring it over to a blender. I'm just gonna throw in all the corn. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm just gonna pulse this like once or twice. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Do we have any butter? Oh. Ah! Ah! Okay, so I got like five knobs of butter, about five tablespoons of butter. Throw that in there, we're gonna give it a little pulse. Yeah, now let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, cream corn. This episode's been really easy, I guess. So I'm really chill right now. We're, pre we're done, that's it. That's how you make Swedish meatballs and cream corn. <laughs> This is a good meal right here, okay, everybody? We got Swedish meatballs. We got butter. Beautiful. How many times have we made, 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 made mashed potatoes? You know, you take Yukon Golds, you peel them, you chop them up, salted water, boil them up, take them out, mash them with butter, okay? That's it. Stop fucking around. Here we go. I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? There's a certain technique. We're gonna take mashed potatoes, and you fill that up, and you let it ooze out a little side of the cream corn, this is it. This is as good as it gets. But this is like, literally, this is like one of my favorite meals ever. Like this is just like, are you kidding me right now? Just soft. The world's hard. Isn't life difficult? Can't we just have a meal that's soft and warm? It makes you feel good? A little bite of this? Crazy town. These meatballs, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mm. Zero resistance Swedish meatballs. Is this as good as it gets? Wow. When life gives you fucking sour grapes, you make fucking grape juice, okay? You deserve it. Take, take, take life, take life, take life serious, okay? Take life serious for once. Soft on soft, I'm Maddie Madison, this is cooking something. Thanks to Manscaped, thanks to you. Swedish fucking meatballs. And thanks for Trisha. Trisha, my number one. Trisha, hey. <laughs>
I'm a fucking river and you're like 6,000 boats just riding on top of me, baby. I love you. Keep the wind in your sails, Trishy. I love you. Be home soon. All right. Namaste. Get fucked.